in the second part of the lesson, we're going to concentrate on making a character which is which is Pac-Man. So to do that, uh, I'm first of all going to choose the paintbrush tool, which is paint a new sprite, and you can see we get the same kind of paint editor. Now um, to make him, I'm going to use first of all use the ellipse tool or the circle tool. Um, I'm not going to use a filled circle for mine. Uh, I'm going to choose the outline, um, and I'm just going to draw on the screen quite big um, a circle. And I might do another one for his eye and another one to see the pupil of his eye. Um, you might also want to put in a line to show where his mouth is going to go. Now, uh, to fill Pac-Man, I'm going to use the paint bucket tool, just like we did in the uh, making a maze at the start of the lesson. And I'm going to choose the white colour um, for his eye, and I'm going to fill his pupil black, like so. Now, to make it a bit more interesting, I'm going to use the gradient fill um, for the actual body of Pac-Man. Now you don't have to do this, but it, I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting. And you can see that I want a yellow uh, and a white colour. So I'm just going to switch these colours around a minute. And when I fill now, it goes from a white, wherever I click on uh, to fill, uh, out to the yellow and it makes it a gradient. And it makes it look a bit 3D and maybe a little bit more interesting. Now the final thing we need to do with Pac-Man is to create um, a little circle um, and it has to be a colour that is not um, already been used in your character so I can't use yellow, I can't use black and I can't use white so I'm going to choose a green colour and I'm just going to draw a little circle in front of Pac-Man now what that's going to be is that's going to be our sensor to make sure that he doesn't he can't go outside of the maze and off the red section as soon as you're done, we click on OK, and you can see now Pac-Man has been created in your maze. He's far too big, so um, what we can do is use the, the shrink tool, which is the um, four arrows pointing inwards at the top of the screen, and we can keep clicking on him until he gets to a size suitable to go through our maze. If you click off, and you can move the character wherever you want to start him.